Cover Blown is a deduction and deception hybrid board game which can be played by 3 to 8 players and a single playthrough takes 10 to 30 minutes depending on the number of players. Let's get started. First, take all of the suspect and weapon cards and place them face up on the table. Then each player takes a bullet token and places it in front of them. Or better, keeps it in hand. More on this later. Remember what color your bullet token has. Now, all players need to connect their smartphone to the same Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi hotspot. Then each player opens the Coverblown app, types in the name and taps play. Wait until all players are visible on screen. Then each player taps ready and the game begins. Alright cops, game is on. Who is that calling you might ask? Well, the game starts with each player receiving a phone call from one of the suspects depicted on the tokens on the table. Listen carefully. By this phone call, each player is assigned their role in the game, be it honest or dirty cop. If you're an honest cop, the suspect calling is a confidential informant who will provide you with clues about the ongoing murder case you are to solve. If you're a dirty cop, the suspect calling is a murderer. The murderer will inform you of how they committed the murder and which weapon they used to carry out the murder. It is now the dirty cop's job to cover up the murder and prevent the honest cops from examining the murderer and the murder weapon. The number of dirty cops in a game depends on the total number of players in the game. Let's investigate. Monday has begun and the time is already running. First, you need to carry out a daily investigation. Choose what kind of information you want to call your confidential informant for the specified type of information. Listen carefully. Your confidential informant or murderer will provide you with clues crucial to your murder case deduction. The murderer provides the same kind of information as the confidential informant to help avoid blowing the dirty cop's cover. The information is always about subjects that were not involved in the murder. As every player has received their individual pieces of information, you should begin sharing knowledge and start ruling out suspects and murder weapons. Keep in mind, there's at least one dirty cop among you. And now, in the midst of the information chaos and with time running out, the dirty cops might see an opportunity to lie and try and clear their murder and murder weapon. Or simply, so doubt about the honesty of the other cops and make them look dirty. Time is running out and you need to act fast. Let's examine. Before the timer runs out and the day ends, you need to agree on a suspect and weapon you want to cross-examine. One, and only one of the players will now select the suspect and weapon in the app and tap the examine button. Once you have examined, the result is shown on the app and it is the only information available to all the players in the game simultaneously and the only information you can truly trust. The result of the examination can be one of three. Wrong, if neither the suspect nor the weapon was part of the murder. Fishy, if either the suspect or the weapon was part of the murder. Or correct, if both the suspect and the weapon was part of the murder. Should this happen, the game is over and the honest cops has won. Be careful though, if you examine a confidential informant, their cover will be blown and the player responsible for their safety will stop receiving information for the rest of the game. Once you have examined, the day ends and a new day dawns. If you did not manage to examine before the time ran out, you simply lost the possibility of getting valuable information. The question remains, were you too slow or was it the works of a dirty cop stalling the investigation? If you believe it was, now is the time to shoot. Actually, any time in the game can be the time to shoot. All you need to do is grab your gun, point it at the suspicious player and shoot. Preferably, you toss or give the player your bullet token to signify you have shot them. The color on the bullet token helps you identify your own token from the other player's tokens. Each player has one bullet, and each player's number of lives depends on the number of players in the game. When a player receives a bullet token from another player, they lose a life. Once a player has lost all of their lives, the game is over. If an honest cop died, the dirty cops win. If a dirty cop dies, the honest cops win. Friday is the last round of the game. On Fridays, you are not allowed to examine. Your only option is to investigate and shoot before the time runs out. Should the time run out before you've gotten to kill a cop, the dirty cops win. That's all. Just remember, keep a straight face or your cover will be blown.